from the destruction of the first Beit HaMikdash and on through the days of the Tanaim and Amoraim, there was a great Jewish community in Babylon. There were great schools of Torah learning, called yeshivot in Babylon, just as in the land of Israel. Each one of these schools was called a yeshiva. No matter where Jews go, they still set up yeshivot where they study the Talmud. If you live in a large Jewish community, there is probably a yeshiva in your neighborhood. Back in the days of the Amorayim, there were wise Amorayim in the yeshivot of the land of Israel. There were also wise Amorayim in the yeshivot of Babylon. The discussions of the Amorayim of the land of Israel are found in the Talmud Yerushalmi, meaning the Jerusalem Talmud. The Jerusalem Talmud wasn't really composed in Jerusalem. The Romans had completely destroyed Jerusalem. No Jews were there. The yeshivot of the land of Israel were in the northern part of the country. Still, the Amoraim of the land of Israel called their Talmud the Jerusalem Talmud because they loved Hashem's holy city and always hoped it could be soon restored. Then. They would study their Talmud in Jerusalem, the true heart of the Jewish people. Roman rule made life difficult for the Jews in the land of Israel. They worked as quickly as possible to record their discussions. Therefore, the Jerusalem Talmud is brief, but deep and difficult to understand. The discussions of the Amoraim of Babylon are found in the Talmud Bavli, meaning the Babylonian Talmud. The Babylonian Amorayim had more peace of mind. Their discussions took more time and were clearer. As time went on, many Amorayim from the land of Israel traveled to Babylon, bringing with them much of the Torah of the land of Israel. This was also put in the Babylonian Talmud. So, when you study the Babylonian Talmud, you are actually studying the words of the Amorayim of Babylon and also the words of the Amorayim of the land of Israel. Our practice of Jewish law is based upon the Babylonian Talmud.